This three-year-old little girl battling brain cancer is in San Diego tonight, hoping to heal by using a treatment found in a form of marijuana. She's using hemp oil to treat her illness. Deb McGrath with the Epilepsy Foundation of Kentuckyana says the use of CBD oil would greatly improve the quality of life for some 90,000 families across the state. This isn't like legal marijuana. This is different. You can use hemp extract to get this oil. It will have traces of THC, but it's not going to have THC to the degree that it would alter your state. You can't get high. So I said it was on Saturday, right? So. Suzanne Di Gregorio is a supporter of the oil. She says her son Alexander has autism and suffers from epileptic seizures. Medications never quite cut it. Their seizure seizures are reducing significantly, but not only that, but their development is taking off. So this is the oil contains a potent dose of the plant's chemical cannabidiol that some studies have shown to help fight cancer. It's ingested, not smoked. I'm just lucky because of you guys providing this medicine for me. That cannabinoid triggers a message to the leukemia cells in my body telling them to kill themselves. So this is killing cancer in my body right now. If I don't have this medicine, I die. There's no doubt in my mind. That's what the oncologists have told me. You can swallow it by the bucket full. It won't get you high at all, but it appears to have profound nerve protective and brain enhancing properties. And interestingly enough, it also uh, induces uh, anti-anxiety effects. It does appear that this may also have anti-cancer properties. They told us that he had Dravet syndrome. And Dravet syndrome is the most extreme catastrophic epilepsy out there, they say. We've tried 11 different anti-epileptic drugs. We've changed the medicine so many times because of all the side effects. Two weeks ago, he was laughing and crying in the same motion with the difference of meds. Lately, I've been reaching out to a lot of different parent groups. I've heard there's other kids with epilepsy that uh, tried medical cannabis and are doing much better. Jaden had four days without a seizure. He was having seizures on an everyday basis. I, I have hope. You know, That's I mean, awesome. The last four days have been the best four days I've had in the last four years. But I mean, just with that little drop, we gave him four days of seizure free. I mean, what can I ask for? The Figgies tried everything. Strange diets, acupuncture, and dozens of powerful drugs like Valium, Ativan, Phenobarbital. But nothing seemed to help. That within the first administration, Charlotte went from having a seizure every 20 to 25 minutes. That's 400 a week, guys down to zero to one per week. And Charlotte was off 100% of her pharmaceuticals. No more pharmaceuticals. Well, cannabidiol has the highest anti-inflammatory and neuroprotectant properties found in nature. And CBD actually interacts with structures on the surface of brain cells known as receptors. And acting as that neuroprotectant and anti-inflammatory helps to decrease and as you've seen, even eliminate seizure activity. Now, while we don't know, it seems as though CBD is actually playing a role in the repair of brain function. It's only when they really started separating THC from CBD that they saw, you know, definitively, yes, CBD seems to really stop seizures. According to some of our early studies and studies out of Israel right now, they're showing incredible results in PTSD, in migraines, depression arthritis, cancer, and heart disease. And even further studies, believe it or not, are showing that this little known compound might have the capabilities of helping to stop progression of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, ALS, MS, and diabetes.